The word of the day today is ridiculous. Every time I say the word ridiculous, Bill Cosby gets a big old bowl of Jello Biafra sent to his prison cell. Internet discourse is a lovely thing that everybody engages in responsibly. Some people like the wild west nature of Twitter, while others gravitate to the more echo chambery Reddit. Today's story happens on the latter. It happens where the narwhal bacons at midnight. We're going to the neckbeard fantasy land that is known as reddit.com. So get out your fedoras and dust off your miladies because we got to discuss the ridiculous nature of this dead Kennedy's logo drama. But before we do, welcome. My name is Dan Frampton. I appreciate you being here. You found the correct YouTube channel. If you're here within the first three hours of this video going up, I will respond to every single comment. And with that being said, let's talk about logo parodies. It's fun to parody logos because it's a legal loophole. You can get away with it because parodies are legal. It's transformative. I absolutely love it. Now, I like hardcore music. I hope that's not a secret to you out there. And I really appreciate when bands of the hardcore variety do logo parodies. Now, the first one that I think of when I think of a parody logo is Misery Signals because they knocked it out of the park early on with their like Edmonton Oilers parody over here. You can get it in a couple different colors, you can get it in a hoodie, you can get it in long sleeve. It is almost like an iconic design at this point and it's a parody logo. Misery Signals are so iconic with their parody logos that they even did a Bucks design over here. The Milwaukee Bucks to be more precise. I'm not too sure about anything about the Milwaukee Bucks but the Oilers, if you want to relive those glory days, what was it, the 80s? The 80s were their glory days, right? Wayne Gretzky, Marc Messier. Parody logos are sick. Now, I'm not a huge fan of people wearing the Thrasher logo. I'm also not a huge fan of Papa Roach. But if you take Papa Roach and do a Thrasher parody logo, I'm all of a sudden head over heels in love with you, okay? I would wear this shirt every day of my life. I would wear this to church. I would wear this to the bar. I would wear this to swim meets, okay? I would be an in the swimming pool t-shirt guy if I owned this t-shirt, because I would not want to be caught without it. This thing is beautiful. Papa Roach, Thrasher, two of like the, the cringiest things in the world. This is lightning in a bottle over here. This is a brilliant piece of merchandise. So you see my excitement for parodies of logos over here. I'm still not even done. I'm showing you my favorite one right now. The Comeback Kid Winnipeg Jets parody logo. This thing is beautiful. Don't even get me started on the beauty of this shirt over here. The stunning blue, the retro logo, the way that the band's name actually works within the logo. Even though this uh, hockey stick is a J and Comeback Kid doesn't have a J in it, still works. Still beautiful, not distracting at all. Think it looks very sick. And now that I actually pulled it up next to the Papa Roach one, I don't know, the Papa Roach one might be my new favorite parody logo. Blink-182, of course, parodied The Hub. Mean Jeans did a great job with their NASA parody, but we're not here to talk about any of these over here. What happens when a parody cuts a little too close to the bone? What happens when you don't exactly change anything but still call it a joke. Well, you have one of the funniest things and one of the best discourses on all of the internet right now. Let me introduce you over here to Devin K and the Solutions. But if you see this logo over here, I know you're well aware of it. This is the Dead Kennedys logo, but DK also stands for Devin K. So why not just do a one-to-one? -one? Devin K are a modern day relevant ska band. The Dead Kennedys, long forgotten. They haven't been relevant since who knows when, okay? They're freaking dinosaurs over here. Someone might as well be using this logo to great effect. And that's Devin K. And I think it's very funny, you know? And a lot of people over here on this Reddit, r slash punk, don't really agree with that. They're like, you're trying to fool people to come to your show with this logo. How dare you? This is egregious. This isn't a funny joke. You're trying to trick people. This is a scam. Which I happen to think is a little bit ridiculous. People are taking themselves so serious. The logo is literally on their wiki page. And then they link the wiki. That's so funny, like, oh, you don't think I know that. 
uh, one of the most iconic logos of all time. That's kind of the joke. Why, why are you linking me the wiki for dead Kennedys? That is so ridiculous. And then Devin K is just rolling with the punches. They stole it from us. Gotta be loving to see it. Well, this is lame, but at least you get to tour with some good bands. What kind of insult is that? Not an insult, I'll tell you that much for free. Is this not the Dead Kennedys logo? <laughs> it is the Dead Kennedys logo. It's not even a parody. Literally just a copy and paste. Settle down, people. Jesus Christ. They're a local band with a thousand followers. I don't think it is that big of a deal. I actually think that this is even funnier that it created this kind of discourse over here. And then Devin K comes in and responds, who cares? Seems like a decent number of people. Who cares is a rhetorical question, Mr. Redditor, coming in here with an answer. Seems like a decent number of people care. You're claiming a famous logo as your own. They're not claiming a famous logo as their own. Imagine someone had the audacity to actually claim a dead Kennedy's logo as their own. It is one of the most famous logos in all of punk rock history, and that is the joke. What is your problem? How did you expect not to be called a lazy faker? Oh my god, that's so funny. God damn, that tickles me. They're trying to use the dead Kennedy's logo to get, cross out get, fool people to come into their shows. 49 upvotes. That's crazy. Yeah, they're really trying to pull the wool over your eyes over here. Oh, guess what? We have the Dead Kennedys playing. I don't know if anywhere on this poster it says the Dead Kennedy. No, it says Devin K. It's the first thing that you see up here. I don't know what the big problem is. I mean, steal it. I don't care. They stole everything from Jell-O. Being a lying coward pretending you made the logo is stupid. They didn't pretend they made the logo. You're making stuff up. So silly. Nowhere in this was like, hey everybody, check out this cool new unique logo we made. And even if they did that, that would be clear that that was a joke too. Because let me reiterate, this DK logo over here is the most famous logo outside of the Bad Religion logo in all of punk rock. If you really are this serious of a person, you would at least know that. Proper Redditors over here. Even on r slash punk, you get all these like, well actually, incredible. So many fedoras, so many miladies over here. You promised these children dead Kennedys, but all I saw out there was cheapy cheapskates. Nobody promised the dead Kennedys. DK is the same initials as Devin K. That's incredible. Would you get mad at a local band called Free Beer because their name was Free Beer and they weren't actually giving away free beer? They just named their band Free Beer so that on the chalkboards outside of bars, they could write Free Beer playing tonight? Oldest trick in the book. Come on now. It's just to turn heads. It's just to get a little chuckle. Believe me, my head turned and I got a little chuckle out of this story. And definitely some people are siding with Devin K over here. Some people find humor in the joke. It's a lovely little microcosm over here to see the community act like this over a local band using the Dead Kennedys logo. Just hilarious. So, so funny. And they are just a tiny little band over here and their tweet of the situation has like a thousand likes. For a band like this, a band of this size, these numbers are a nice little boost. This is guerrilla marketing and it worked out. And it showed them to have like a good sense of humor. They could roll with the punches. They have a great sense of identity and purpose and all of that and I haven't even listened to them yet. Let's listen to six seconds of one of their songs because otherwise I'd get copyright strike. I loved it. That was great. I support you. I am now I'm gonna follow your band and I'm with you until the end of time. I love logo drama. It's so fun. I didn't know that I was gonna have logo drama to wake up to today, but it's great. You know what's also great? I started a third channel today for warm-ups. Because the one thing that I hate more than anything is firing up the camera over here and having like a rusty take. So I needed a place to put my warm-up videos, so now that exists. It's called Frampton Slop. I put up a video there today about Mama Max, and I put up a video on my gaming channel about the graffiti in Tony Hawk 1. So, when you're done with this video, head over to one of those channels and watch more content. Okay, thank you so much for watching. See you later.